What's up you guys? I'm Joanna with PJ Listen Company and today I wanted to talk about Canelo versus Daniel Jacobs. But before I get started, I did want to talk about Clarissa Shields versus Christina Hammer. I did watch the fight. My prediction got tossed out the window. But that's the beauty about this sport because literally anything can happen. Um, I expected a lot more from Lady Hammer. And at one point, let me know if y'all guys saw the same thing. It looked like she purposely pushed out her mouthpiece. Um, I don't know. Let me know. What, I gotta go rewatch it. Uh, watch the highlights. But that's what I saw. I saw her kind of like push it out purposely. And there were several rounds where I thought she was gonna get knocked out, but she kept getting saved by the bell. But anyways, basically congratulations to Shields. She did an amazing job, an amazing performance. Um, completely dominated the entire fight. So, moving forward. Daniel Jacobs versus Canelo. So this is gonna be a unification bout. It's gonna be on uh, May 4th on the zone. It's gonna be in Las Vegas. So, I know Canelo wants that IBF belt from Daniel Jacobs. And guys, if y'all don't know too much about Daniel Jacobs, there's so many documentaries. He's super, super cool to me. Um, he beat cancer. Um, that's what they call Miracle Man. Go ahead and watch it. He is so cool. Um, so is Canelo, but you know, just in case you guys don't know too much about Daniel Jacobs. Um, anyways, so both of these boxers fought my favorite boxer. My favorite boxer is Triple G. I know y'all are probably gonna say, well, he's inactive. Yeah, he's inactive, but he signed with the zone. He's gonna be back active, so calm down. Gotta defend him. No, but uh, so when Daniel Jacobs fought Triple G, if it wasn't for that knockdown, guys, honestly, and I'm a big Triple G fan, I would have given that win to Daniel Jacobs. Now, for Canelo, Okay, the first bout, I gave it a Triple G. Triple G, hands down. The second one, it was a super close fight, but I have still had Triple G winning by one to two rounds. This other, I know we're gonna argue, guys. I know we are. That's okay, that's what this channel's here for. Um, Cause I get in arguments about that all the time. All the time, but uh, you know, it's okay. I ain't got no problem with that. Uh, this ain't my first rodeo, but it was very close fight. So now, Canelo versus Daniel Jacobs, they're gonna meet in the ring. Counter puncher, Canelo, they have both have power. They, they have what every boxing fan loves to watch. This is one of the reasons why boxing fans unite, because this is what we like to watch. This is, we're gonna get a bunch of action, we're gonna get what we paid for. So, what do I think's gonna happen? What's my prediction on this bout? Well, my heart is saying Daniel Jacobs, but my mind, guys, my mind is saying Canelo's gonna win, and you know that, Joanna. You know that. But that's just what I think. Is a knockout possible? A knockout, of course, is possible. They are both have so much power, of course, it's possible. Um, I see it going 12 rounds, though, but if, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if a knockout does happen. Um, but that's my prediction. I can't wait to hear you guys because I'm so excited about this fight and I'll be talking to y'all soon. I, okay, that's how excited I am about this fight, guys. But I will talk to you guys later. Chung deuce.